What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745 and in this video I'm going to finally review the Witches set. Many of you wanted me to do this and we do have a few days left in the spec up so I figured why not. First of all we're going to look at each individual piece of the set itself and then we'll try it out in PvP and I'll give you a few of my thoughts on the set overall. Starting with set piece number one, Charge of the Witches. It's an AoE buff, and it does happen to be a quick action. What it's going to do is apply Breakdown to allies' single target attacks next turn, and it grants Magic Reduction. Your team will take reduced damage from Magic attacks. So not too bad, and I am happy that this set has a quick action. That's always welcome. This is an item that could be used independently from the rest of the set, as being a quick action and the fact that it has magic reduction and applies breakdown makes it a pretty solid quick action piece. So we start off the set decently strong, although it's not my favorite quick action in the entire game, or anything like that. Next up we have the Fetish of Calamity. This is a single target debuff, and by the way all the set pieces have the power of the coven, so it increases set damage for other pieces of the set equipped. There you see it on every single piece of this set. So that is something to keep in mind at least when you're trying to use maybe the full set or more than one item from the set. At least in that case the more the merrier. As for this second piece of the set it applies doom so it removes a large amount of current health when removed by duration or removal effects. It removes and prevents res effects but it can be removed by resting. It also applies Bane which will come in handy, that is with the channeling glove and if you're using a magic damage team in general. And lastly it has Fetish Backfire. Character will take damage after performing a quick action. That's pretty solid but it's not like a team can use unlimited quick actions anymore. All in all this set piece isn't bad but it probably would be the first one that I would drop. Now for the third piece in the set, it's going to be the major damage part and that's called the craft. This weapon has exploit attrition, also of course power of the coven, and so with that exploit attrition alone it's going to gain quite a bit of damage. Now where this can have a downside is how much of it is your opponent immune to, but once again that's one of the weaknesses which we'll talk about more in the fight. This weapon also has something called lesser banish, and that's where it sacrifices 25% of the agent's health to remove 25% of the enemy's health. This of course is going to help it do a lot more damage and that's why it's often a one shot type of hit, especially with other pieces of the set. But of course it doesn't come without a sacrifice. After that it does apply bleeding and it grants the agent unholy. Gain ethereal strike, that's great. Lose 10% of current health each turn, that's not so great. If below 50% health, all damage dealt is increased by 25%. Also if below 50% health at the beginning of the turn, receive magic reduction. Alright so does a lot of damage, has some decent benefits, and ethereal strike is great. Also unholy will work with the lantern of doom if you do have it. It'll make those abilities quick actions. So that's something else to think about. Then the fourth set piece is the channeling glove. It has special functionality so may not be activated manually. That I actually think is a good thing. You can't have too many weapons because you only can use one per turn, and so not having to activate this one is going to actually benefit your agent. How it does activate is it has a high chance of performing a follow up attack when an ally attacks an enemy with Bane. So someone like Doctor Strange who has an ability that applies an AoE Bane well that's going to be a great team up with this glove. Then on top of the damage it's going to apply Hexed so attacks have a chance to backfire and it removes buffs. So it's a pretty solid piece, especially because of that special functionality. I'd actually say it may even be worth using by itself if you have a team up like Doctor Strange. Or if you're using the Lantern of Doom or something like that that has an AoE Bane as well. Now as we get into our fight I'm going to talk a little bit more openly about the set, my true opinions, and how I feel about the set as individual pieces, 
which I've kind of given you a glimpse of, but then more importantly, as a full set itself. Like I said, the Charge of the Witches could definitely be usable, especially if you're lacking quick action items. So that is all by itself. I think the same thing can go for the Channeling Glove, if maybe you don't have that many other options. Like if you're someone who mainly has a lot of attacking weapons, but little gadgets or things that apply benefits, well since you can't use weapons like I said, one after another, you might as well have a special functionality item. At the same time without Bane, it's probably all but useless. As far as I can tell. So really I guess there's a lot that has to come into play for that to be a great piece in itself. As far as the craft, well that's going to have the most downsides. Sure, the upside is it can do a lot of damage, and maybe that's all you need it for. But it's going to severely hurt your agent survivability. Unless you have a really tough agent, or maybe something to bring him back to life. You're just really helping your enemy be able to take out your team leader. As far as the fetish, I'm not that big of a fan of it. The doom can definitely come in handy especially if you have trouble damaging your opponent. Or you want to remove their resurrection effect. Also, maybe the backfire is really useful against someone like Enchantress. But I haven't come up against her just yet. In my opinion, it should also trigger on free actions. If it did, maybe I would say it's worth using, but as it stands, it just doesn't do enough to convince me to use it. Still, as a full set, of course the Power of Coven compels you to use all the pieces to really get the most out of the glove, and especially out of the craft. But you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? And to me, it just isn't. Especially not in the current meta. And that's where the worst weaknesses are going to come to light. The set, and to a greater extent the teams that you're going to use with the set, are really in trouble right now. And that's due to magic warding, other magic reduction, or maybe people using the witch's set, the lantern of doom, and so on. It's just not a magic friendly PvP environment. In many matches I have difficulty applying debuffs and keeping them on the opponents. Now one thing you could do is use it with beast. Now I know someone's going to say it, but I don't have the fancy scroll of Rudamaroth or whatever. I wish I did, it's absolutely overpowered, but I don't. So for me, that's not an option, and I'm sure that goes for many of you as well. When it comes down to it though, I'd just rather use the demon set, or the horseman set, and to be completely honest with you, I don't even use those full sets, which are better. So if you missed out on the witch's set, you don't have too much to worry about. But if you can pick it up, you should. You never know what the future will bring, what the meta is going to end up being, or what next overpowered costume or character is going to come into the game. So what I'm saying is it's always good to be prepared. Just don't go spending 64 gold on the craft. Just try to farm the pieces and build the set. And if you have to spend just a little bit of gold getting the vials, then that might not be a terrible investment. Just don't go overboard on gold spending in this case. That's a precious commodity. And even though I think the Witch's set was pretty well thought out, and not a terrible set, it's not a must have, especially not in the current meta. Not saying you won't have fun though against the right enemy team, and with the right teammates. In fact, this current match was definitely a blast. And after we recharge with Doctor Strange, I'm going to use the Charge of the Witches, just because we can. And then the craft to finish off Iron Fist. So here comes our final attack, and with that lesser banish, you better believe Iron Fist is gone. So there it is, my look at and review on the Witches set. And I hope it helped you, or at least entertained you. Lastly, I want to thank you all for watching. Ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.